Many governments, corporations and international bodies collect energy statistics every year. These statistics usually measure how much energy is produced, by which sources, and how these flow generating revenues both within countries and from one country to another. But such flows of energy do not reach every household. There are about 1.2 billion people in the world today without access to energy. If we take into account the number of people with negligible or unreliable access, this number becomes even larger. How then do we understand the meaning of this particularly important energy statistic? How many individuals suffer from low quality of life or well-being because of a basic lack of access to energy? How many lives are lost each year because of a lack of electricity in rural healthcare centers? How many farming families are unable to expand their earning capacities because they do not have the ability to power machinery that could help them save costs and increase efficiency? How many children don't reach their potential because of a lack of learning or teaching aids? These statistics are less easy to come by, but are extremely important when it comes to rethinking energy flows. What if unelectrified homes, hospitals, schools, and businesses did not have to wait for energy to flow to them, but could start actively generating and consuming their own energy. With appropriate technology, finance, and other innovations, decentralized renewable energy catalyzes all development verticals. By providing access not just to energy, but to the means of energy production, Decentralized renewable energy creates ecosystems that help transform skilled laborers into entrepreneurs and beneficiaries into partners.